Hey, it's Harcourt from Play, and today we're going to talk about scrolling. There's two different directions that you can scroll. You can scroll horizontally, which looks a bit like this, or you can scroll vertically, which looks like this. In Play, scrolling is super simple. Basically, anything that is overflow will automatically scroll in the direction that it's overflowing. So what do I mean by that? Well, I have a parent and I have the children of that parent. In this case, I have a parent called HStack, and all of my children are these six images. Now you can see the border right here, the boundary of my parent, and anything that is outside of that boundary is considered overflow. So in this case, you'll see that only two of these images are inside the bounds, and the rest of these are outside. So this stack does have overflow, and you can see I'm even able to scroll it here. And again, I'm able to scroll that on my phone. But if instead my stack is the size of all of the children within it, in this case, it's set to auto, then you can see when I try to scroll, nothing happens. And even when I scroll on my phone, nothing happens there as well. And that's because there's no overflow. So play senses that and says no scrolling. Now, if I take this horizontal stack and I add it to my page and I have my whole page selected, you can see that now I'm able to scroll horizontally, even though this stack does not have overflow. And that's because this full stack is overflowing on the page itself. So you can see all of this room over here is off of the page. But here's the problem with this. If I add a vertical stack to my page, or honestly, if I add any other content to my page and I scroll that horizontal stack, you'll see the entire page scrolls with it. It's not just the horizontal carousel. So it's important to have the carousel itself have the overflow. So in this case, what we'd wanna to do to fix this problem is this horizontal stack, we would wanna set it to fill. So again, there's overflow on that. And when I try that, now just my horizontal stack scrolls like the way we want it to be. We're sharing all of this because it's a little different than how it works in a tool like Figma. So let me pull that up. So unlike Play, Figma does not automatically add scrolling when there's overflow content. So you can see right here, I have overflow content in this horizontal stack, but if I go and interact with it here, you can see I'm trying to scroll across it and I can even try and scroll down the page to view all my content and I'm just not able to do it by default. So I'll have to go back into my design, enter prototyping mode and select both the full page to add scroll behavior vertical and also select this stack and again, add horizontal overflow. Now I can go back and interact with my prototype and now I'm able to scroll and able to vertically scroll. It works in Figma, but there's a couple extra steps. Versus in play, we bake that all in for you. So it's super easy to have horizontal and vertical carousels with basically no work at all. Thanks so much for watching this video.